What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and today I'm bringing to you some Modern Warfare knife only gameplay with a 7 man feed in it. It was so beast, it was definitely the best clip I've ever gotten, ever, as far as a knife feed goes, in any Call of Duty. And this will be like, like, to this day, this is the, that is, it, this is the best kill feed I've ever gotten, and you will see why. <laughs> later on in this gameplay but uh yeah i know i haven't been posting much modern warfare lately um as you guys know i've been kind of taking a break from it i was trying to get the modern warfare 2 knife only nuke for a while but then i got laser eye surgery um so i had to take a break for, from gaming for a while i still can't really game at the moment at least not very well because like the my eyes are still very sensitive to light at the moment so I can't it's hard to watch TV or do anything on the screen unless I like turn the the brightness down enough like either on my phone or my laptop but with with the TV it's it's hard to do that so uh, hopefully I'll get back to gaming soon and I actually want to bring some gun gameplay for the CRX 56 or whatever the the, the name they have it for the Galil because I want to make an AK-12 setup for it and bring you some gun game gun some gun gameplay um, for a change but yeah so um, as the title goes I've graduated and accomplished slash survived army basic training I'd have to say you know 2020 has been a pretty bad year um, for everybody and so, and for myself, it's definitely been very bad. Um, you know, if 2019 was bad, 2020 just was has just been way worse. Um, but if I can at least take one positive away from 2020, it's that I I managed to finish what I started with Army basic training. If you don't know, I'm in the Canadian Army at the moment as a reservist, um, which is part time. Um, so obviously because of the circumstances we couldn't uh we can't have a graduation or anything which partially and here's the qu here's the seven men feet five six and seven what up rewind that if you uh missed that if you were listening to the commentary but sorry i got a little carried away there but that was beast wasn't it it was so beast anyways <laughs> um yeah so you know i'm just glad that i finally finished what i started you know from the get-go you know after the first weekend I part like I almost I really wanted to quit because I really thought I couldn't handle it or or like you know I couldn't handle it at all um, but you know thankfully like I trucked through it I told myself that I would regret in the long run not being able, not doing it and you know what I pushed through it even through all the pain and the soreness and the yelling and the punishments and everything you know and then COVID hit obviously and we were out of the game for four months at least or like about four months so you know uh, that definitely you know affected us uh, you know we were pretty rusty but thankfully when we finally got back to complete our training we only had one we only had one weekend left to do and that was to do our navigation test Basically, we just had to figure out and understand how to navigate ourselves during the day and throughout the night, which, you know, even even worse was the fact that I was coming out of laser eye surgery three weeks after my surgery. So I did my surgery, and then about two days after, or actually even one 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 day after my surgery, we get the email that you know training is coming back online uh like three weeks from now or it or like about three weeks from now and so i'm like barely able to read the email and respond to it because like you're not really supposed to look at your phone or do anything electronically while you're recovering but uh you know i get i i'm able to reach back to them and tell them i'm I'm able to attend it, you know, and, um, you know, surprisingly, 
And this is the sad thing about the Canadian Army, and unfortunately, is that, you know, they kind of messed up the paperwork. I apparently, they didn't think I was coming back for some reason, even though I told, like, two or three people that I was coming back. But they still had me down as no. So, thankfully, one of the staff, or one of the, you know, yeah, one of the staff just uh, realized it and helped me uh, fix that. So I was able to get on, and I was able to... Uh, you know, attend the training, and, um, you know, navigation definitely wasn't my strength in, uh, basic training, but thankfully, with the help of, you know, some guidance by the staff, they were, you know, they were able to make it a little less, uh, stressful and, and, uh, difficult for myself, and you know what? I'm kind of glad partially that there wasn't a graduation because I do not like being in front of big crowds. I know that's kind of ironic because I'm a magician and I like and I have to be in front of crowds most of the time, but like that's when I'm doing something that I'm like a hundred percent comfortable with. With this I definitely wouldn't have been comfortable with. And plus like we were really rusty, so like there was no way we were gonna have like a a fancy like you know, good graduation, so to speak. So, part of me is glad we did not have a graduation. And so, and I mean, that obviously, that also meant that we didn't have, um, we couldn't have a grad party at all. But, um, you know, I just, just for the heck of it, I, I did my best to, uh, gather a couple of my army buddies together, as well as some of my own friends, just to, uh, come together. Uh, celebrate and kind of you know reflect on some of the crazy stuff that we had to go through and you know it was kind of nice to kind of bring my the, the army buddies together and you know get them to meet some of my uh, my personal friends so yeah that was great and honestly what I can gather from this guys is just just from my experience of going through army basic training I know I can't speak for everyone because you know depending on which country you serve in it's gonna be different for everyone or depending on the type of person you are honestly just you know always give a hundred percent don't dwell on any of the mistakes that you make because you will make mistakes and that's okay and if they yell at you try not try not to take it personally because they're just trying to fix your fix the mistake and not you know be harsh on you so you know what does this mean for me in the future will I continue doing the army will I you know because the next uh, le the next step after basic in my case is land training or combat training as it's sometimes called but uh, yeah that you know that's kind of up in the air at the moment I don't know again like I told myself I do I give it a year or two just to kind of taste the life of it but, uh, you know, right now I'm just going to sit and enjoy this little celebration. And, um, you know, I'll keep you posted, hopefully, in the near future. But um, thanks for listening to the commentary, guys. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Peace out.